It is under five hours until kickoff in tonight's Champions League final with Manchester City just one game away from securing that elusive first European Cup and the treble. It's always an occasion that brings together legends of the game and our chief reporter Carve Solokol has caught up with one of them ahead of tonight's match. OK, there have been some great Italian players over the years. This man is arguably one or maybe even the greatest of okay. all time, I okay. think. Well, right, if, you, if, you're you. my, if you're my age, <laughs> that's the kind of thing you would say. Uh, Alessandro, thank you very much for uh, joining us. You, of course, have won the Champions League with Juventus. What was it like? What was that feeling like for you? Well, that feeling was great when we won. Uh, unfortunately, we had also a couple of losses, but, you know, this is the feeling that you approach the game is always the same. It's something big, something amazing, something new all the time, even if you, if you know some of the emotion that's going, going to be true, because you approach the game in a different, different way. Uh, you have uh, different years uh, going to the final, so this is a final day for uh, you know final game of the of the season, uh, technically for everybody. So it's going to be the the big smile for the summer or a couple of uh, uh, other things if you lose. <laughs> what, what do you think of of the two sides? I know everybody is assuming that Manchester City are, are the favourites. Uh, do you think it's going to be an easy night for them, or maybe no. we are underestimating Inter? No, listen, when you play the final, everything can happen. It could be a very easy game for City, could be also a very easy game for Inter. And not be surprised about that, because Inter come of this, uh, this final. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Grande Paolo. Uh, come of this game with, with so confident in their strength with a good uh, defense system but also great in counter-attack and they've been through a lot of things this year so they, they feel this is uh, the, the best moment for them. On the other side, Man City also, you know, they played amazing football, the best football they ever played in the last 10 years, for, for many years, not only this year. Uh, and uh, they think they are mature for this uh, moment. So uh, the tension, the emotion, behind the inside the players and the team uh, definitely make the, ch the the game changer for for both of them how do you think inter will uh, approach this game do you think they will have to be very very defensive very disciplined and play on the counter attack the, the, or, or will they mix it up a little bit it, it's gonna be like this from my point of view also because man city want to dominate the game so it's a it's a normal attitude for both teams, uh, but they're going to be very disciplined, very aware of every single aspect. They're going to they study for sure uh, main city movement and then quality of the players that everybody knows about that. But when you're facing them into the field, is <laughs> is the is the real game changer. So let's see. It's gonna it's gonna be an exciting game. I hope with a lot of goals. So uh, a roller coaster of emotion is going to be incredible for for this kind of game and the final question because i know you have to get the bus to yeah. the stadium uh, when you were playing italian football italian league Serie A w was the best in the world the best now we players, switch the best players <laughs> were there now, now, now it's the premier league but yeah. this season we've had three italian teams in yeah. the european finals yeah, do, you, do you think italian football is on the way back well it's from my point of view there's a long way to go uh but yes because in a, in the most difficult situation, Italian uh, teams and in general Italian people show uh, great potential and they discover new things to go and to reach the target that they want to reach. So it's not, it's not unusual to see for this year uh, three in the final and two more in the semi-final. So it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a great thing for us and I hope it will help the Italian football to go even further away, we have an under-20 in the final of, of, uh, of the World Cup as well against Uruguay. So it's another, especially with, for the youngers and uh, with the youngers, uh, it's, it's a great, very good news. And it's, it's another step, but we need to believe that and think that there's a long way to go. Uh, the Uruguay is now a great example, a great football and great marketing, great everything at the moment. Uh, so that's the target to reach.